Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing well today. And we have a very special unboxing for you. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Freestyle Libre system. This is a continuous glucose monitoring system that is much like the Dexcom that is available. And what I hope to do today is to educate you if you are considering one of these units. I have in front of me the Freestyle Libre 14-day system, which is the Generation 1. Um, it is the first one that they released. This is released by Abbott Laboratories. Um, I believe it is available pretty much worldwide. Um, this is obviously a U.S. item, but I do believe that you can get it overseas as well. The newer system that they recently released is the Freestyle Libre 2. And I do have both of them. And I wanted to go over some of the pros and cons of both systems because I'm sure everyone is on the bandwagon when newer is better. But that is not always the case. So we're going to go over a couple of the pros and cons of both systems and just give you an in-depth look into each box. We'll do the unboxing of both units. As you can see, I have the uh, CGM sensors as well. They are both 14-day sensors. And we'll go through, again, the pros and cons of those as well as the test strips. While these are continuous glucose monitoring systems, they also are built in um, with the blood glucose testing uh, as capabilities as well. So you don't need a separate glucose um, monitor, blood glucose monitor. It's built into the actual reader itself. So without further ado, we will go into the Libre 14-day system. Again, this is the Generation 1 unit. Um, and this was released, I'd say, a couple of years ago. Um, it's still fairly new to the market. A lot of people may not realize that it is available. Um, I find that these sensors are very slim indeed. In fact, I will show you one. As you can see, I have a used sensor here. Um, this one is very thin. Um, I don't know really what I can compare it to. I would say it's about the size of a quarter. Let me see if I have one. You are in luck. I have some coins right here. And I would say it is probably a little bit bigger. You know, a lot of people, you know, they want the uh, the size to be small. And this is by far much smaller than a Dexcom unit. Um, if I put, let's say, two quarters together, I would say it's roughly the size of two quarters stacked next to each other. Try and get a close-up of that. So about the size of two quarters stacked next on top of each other, uh, width-wise or height-wise, and then in terms of diameter, slightly larger than a quarter. And this operates basically with a filament. Don't mind this. This is all the um, the sticky stuff, the uh, the adhesive. So it's. This is a used sensor. It's been worn for two weeks. The adhesive is pretty much worn off, but you know, it's still kind of gooey. And as you can see, the filament is right there. Let me see if I can get a, a good shot of it. Very small, almost like a thick hair. And when applied properly, it doesn't hurt. Don't really feel it. Um, you have to be careful with the sensor not to bang it around or hit it against anything. And that basically is your sensor. So I'll leave this here with a quarter next to it for comparison size. And let's get on with the unboxing. So inside the Freestyle Libre 14-day system, you get the reader right here. And then you get a lot of informational uh, booklets. They give you the a USB, um, like a mini, I guess a USB uh, thumb drive, I guess you would call it, built into a plastic card. And this is basically your instruction booklets. It'll give you quick tips and how to use the system and everything like that. Um, you get a massive booklet on how to use your sensor. It's a lot of reading material. There is a 
quick start guide. So it just makes it nice and easy. That way you don't have to read that entire booklet. You just want to get started. You're pretty tech savvy. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tells you how to do it. And then you can also use the app to scan your sensor. So this is where the Freestyle Libre 14-day system is superior, in my opinion, to the Libre 2. Um, there's pros and cons, like I said. The Freestyle Libre 1 system is a CGM monitor, but it only monitors for eight hours at a time, and you must scan the sensor. So this sensor will retain eight hours of readings throughout the day, okay? But it will not automatically report it to your unit. Other pro to the 14-day system is that there is an iOS and Android app available. It is the Freestyle Libre app. Um, and that can be, you don't need the actual sensor. You don't have to carry this sensor around, which is amazing because you always have your phone. You always will go anywhere with your cell phone. And if you can use your phone as the sensor, because this is a Bluetooth sensor, you can just scan your sensor with your phone and it will automatically um, log it in your phone. You can add notes. So if you take insulin, if you've eaten a large meal, if you did some exercise, basically any information that you wanna enter into the app on your cell phone, you can. Okay, the app does not share information with the reader. So what that means is if you scan it with your cell phone, you will not get the readings on this reader itself. You would have to use the reader as well. So for someone that is younger, that is on the go, uh, teenager, child, young adult, someone that prefers to not carry a reader around because the reader itself is not very big, but it is definitely, you know, definitely adds some heft to it and you do have to carry it around. You do have to keep it charged. Um, the reader is good. And again, if you wanted to do a blood glucose sensor, uh, blood glucose test, you have the port right here. So this unit is great if you want to check your sensor and then you're not sure if the sensor is reading accurately, you can do a blood test, one, two, three, like this. So the 14-day the system has the pros where it will let you use the iOS or Android app. Um, it will monitor your glucose as long as you scan it. Um, it is a continuous glucose monitor, but it doesn't mean it continuously sends the data to your phone or to the um, to the reader. So those are the pros and cons of the 14-day. The next unit I have, which is the newer unit, is the Freestyle Libre 2. Now, what is the difference between the Libre and the Libre 2? The sensors are exactly the same size. I can't tell any physical difference between the two sensors. So... Let me show you the 14-day sensor really quickly. This is a brand new sensor. It's just the, uh, the glue kind of dried out and it just, it opens up. This is where, what the sensor comes in. It's a sealed unit. Gives you an expiration date. Gives you a, uh, like a batch number or a lot number. This is almost like the Lansing device. You basically open this up. I don't want to open it because it is sterile. You open it up. You place the Lansing device on top of the sensor once you've opened it. And then you hold it against your skin, push, and it, it basically, like a lancet, injects the uh, filament into your skin and it's adhesive, the adhesive sticks to your skin as well. So it does a really good job with that. They give you alcohol swabs to clean the skin thoroughly. And um, basically everything you need to, do the, uh, to apply your sensor is included in the box. So instructions, again, are here. And if you're not sure how to do it, they tell you exactly what needs to be done. So back of the arm, clean it, open the sensor and the applicator, add the uh, uh, lancing device on top of the applicator. It'll hold the, the, uh, the sensor, push it against your skin, and one, two, three. It's really that easy. A lot of you may ask, well, how painful is it? It is no more painful than using a lancet device on your finger. It is definitely, there is some anticipation, much like using a Lansing device, but you're doing it once every 14 days. You know, you're not testing three times a day, four times a day, two times a day, five times a day, depending on how often you check. 
You know, your fingers, you know, they take the abuse, but you do this once every 14 days. It's a no brainer. It's definitely worth it. So pros and cons of the Libre 2 system. This is the box. We'll open it up. And again, you get the booklets. You get the information guide. Two different languages. Looks like uh, Spanish and English. You get the USB card. And you get the, um, you get the reader as well. Now, the readers are exactly the same size. Honestly, if one didn't say Libre 2 and one didn't say 14 day, I would think they're the exact same thing, just different colors. Look exactly the same, same width, no difference. Exact same size. So, you may ask, well, why did you go for Libre 2? Why did you get this? The Libre 2 system is a continuous glucose monitoring device, and it automatically um, alerts you if you have low or high glucose. As long as this unit, this physical unit, is within 20 feet of you and your sensor. So basically, this is a true, I don't want to say true because they are both CGM units, but this is a real-time continuous glucose monitor. So if your sugar is going low, Let's say it hits like, I don't know, 65. This unit's going to go off. It's going to beep and like alarm, like an alarm is going to sound saying, hey, your sugar's going low. Or if you eat a massive meal and the sensor's nearby and you ate like three pounds of pasta and had three bottles of soda for lunch, this thing is going to scream at you. The, the alarm is going to go off saying, hey, your sugar is on the rise. It's going up. So those are the pros of this unit. You know, that's a great thing. You know, sometimes you don't have... You're not thinking, you didn't check your sugar, you know. I know eight hours seems like a very long time, but listen, there are times where you will maybe miss like 10, 15, 20 minutes of a reading, okay? This thing will continuously record the data for you. Now, what are the cons? The cons are that the new sensors, the Libre 2 sensors, are not compatible with the iPhone and Android application. There is no app available as of this moment, which is January 3rd, 2021, that there is no application or iOS or Android app available that will read these monitors. What does that mean for you? That means that you will have to carry this, this glucose monitor um, reader around with you. So there are pros and cons, you know, um, eventually I would assume that Abbott will release an app or an update for the Freestyle Libre app on your phone to read the Libre 2 sensors. But as of this time, they have not made that available. So again, it depends on what your needs are. If you like to be free of having to carry around one of these readers, the Libre 14 day system is an excellent choice. If you want something that's going to give you real-time alerts that will monitor your sugar without you actually having to scan the sensor, the Libre 2 system may be what you need. So I don't know which one you guys would like in terms of what your day-to-day -day would be, but um, if you want, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, we'll just go through some of the stuff. There's a bunch of literature in here. Again, nothing crazy, just a lot of books. Here's some of the equipment that comes with it. You do get a USB, um, USB cord as well as a charging, uh, uh, block, I guess you would call it. And basically they give you everything that you need. You know, I believe this reader came with the same thing. I'm not sure if it's still in here. Should be, yeah. It's still in here also. But there's a lot of reading material, you know. <clears throat> so, it really depends on what your needs are, like I said. If you want something that is portable, that you can use your phone to do the readings with, um, and not have to carry around a reader, as of right now, the Libre 14 Day is for you. If you want something that's going to continuously monitor your glucose, that will give you real-time alerts and warn you if your sugar is too high or too low without you having to scan the sensor, then the Libre 2 system might be for you. And if you want, we'll take a look at this system also. And it's going to look exactly the same. There is no difference, like I said. The sensor cup is the pretty much the same size. 
the um, Lansing device, again, looks exactly the same. There really is no difference between the 14-day system and the Libre 2 system. Both clips look virtually the same. It's just slightly different technology. Can't really tell. So I hope you guys found this video informative. You know, I was all ecstatic when they told me that the Libre 2 would be basically, you know, give you real-time uh, alerts. You know, not that I need them, but it's just, you know, listen, I want something newer. I want something, you know, that I don't really have to do. I don't want to have to constantly scan. And using something like this is great. Having a, a system that is going to monitor your sugar so you can adjust your eating habits, you can adjust your insulin if needed in real time, this is a fantastic uh, CGM device. So again, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And as always, have a great day. Thank you for watching.